Hi friends, just sitting here at work waiting for the kids to come out so I can take them home from school. Anyways, um, doing this video, I just had a, a thought uh, about customer service and how we treat people um, from any job that you're doing just to day to day from work to school to grocery shopping, anything. Anytime we come in contact with other people, we are supposed to, one, treat others like we want to be treated. That's the first thing. Um, meaning if you don't want people yelling at you or being rude and saying obscenities to you, return the favor. A lot of times, it's a lot easier, less stressful, less confrontational if someone is rude to you just to smile and say thank you anyway or just walk away this world is in such great need of prayer and help people out here you know you yelling and screaming and cussing at people um, just even basic road rage you don't know when you see someone speeding nine times out of ten they're late for work or to get their kid or maybe they just have a lead foot but nine times out of ten like I said, you don't know their their reason for speeding. Maybe they have a sick child in the back of the car or even a, a dying child uh, that got injured at home or someplace and they're speeding to the hospital. So a lot of times don't get so angry at other people when you don't know their situation. Um, it's so easy to get caught up in judging and yet we say, oh, I don't judge. I have no room to judge. but. Really, if you look at yourself in the mirror or think to yourself between you and your creator, in my case, me and God, I know when I'm being judgmental, whether I choose to admit it or not. So my talk for today is if you're working in customer service, when you're on the phone with people, it's customer service. Please and thank you. Wait for them to hang up. Don't just hang up in their face after because you don't know if they have another question before you hang up. So many times I've called from the hospital to government agencies and I can say, okay, thank you. Then I go to say, but, and before I can even get the next word out, they've already hung up on me. Click. Okay. Why not end the call with saying, okay, ma'am, is that it? Is there anything else? Do you have any other questions for me? Then I can say, no, thank you, you have a good day, blah, blah, blah. Then you know I'm done with the call. I mean, that's just common sense, basically. Um, why work at McDonald's if you don't want to deal with the rude customers coming through the line? A lot of times you're going to get people that are rushing that have been waiting in line for 10, 15 minutes. A lot of times you're going to get rude customers that you fixed the order wrong and they're bringing it back so now they're being rude yes ma'am I'm sorry we didn't get your order correct let us see what we can do to fix that you know it's it's just common courtesy it's respect you go through a line at Burger King or McDonald's or anywhere you want respect first of all second of all you want what you asked for and you want it correctly and when it's not sometimes the people that are working preparing your food you don't really want to be rude because you can't see what they're doing in the back that's that's the one thing but um, again maybe their parent just died but they have to work to pay the bills maybe they have a sick child in the hospital maybe they have a husband or a wife that kicks the crap out of them as soon as they walk in the door or starts yelling maybe they're working to get away from abuse at home you know so again you don't know people's situation we are our brother's keepers like it or not it's in the Bible if you believe in God it's written we are supposed to treat our neighbors as we love our neighbors as we love ourselves and treat people like we want to be treated you know you get more bees with honey than you do with vinegar so saying that be nice to others at all times because you don't know their situation and it's okay to tell people smile if you walk past someone and say hi and they don't say hi back because I experienced that sometimes I'm walking down the sidewalk and people will cross the street so they don't have to look at me or speak but I just smile and say <laughs> thank you Jesus you know because I'm gonna say hi no matter whether I know you or not and it's your choice to say hi back 
at the end of the day, remember, your life might be hard now, but trust and believe it can always, always be worse. And a lot of times other people that you talk to or come in contact with, their life may be worse than yours. So try to treat people gentle, with love, with respect, and try to be a little bit more patient and not so quick to fly off the handle at others because we all have our own faults. We all have our own issues. Yes, you could probably say your issue is yours and let it be and let mine be mine. But that's not, that's not neighborly. That's not Christ-like and it's not love. We're supposed to be able to talk to others with concern and not nosiness, just to be nosy, wanting to know what's going on and pretending that we care when we really don't. So to make the world a better place, we have to be better people. I love you. God bless you. And until I make another video, which I will be soon, and it will be about displacement. Um, that's going to be the next video coming your way. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you.